Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading. Today is Monday. Happy Monday, everyone. Today I'm reading for Aries, Taurus, Gemini and Cancer. And this reading here is for Gemini. Welcome, Gemini. The reading starts with the Keepers of the Light Oracle card. And out for you came White Eagle. And the white eagle is about ancestor spirit saying connect to your lineage. A family wound or pattern can be healed now. The white eagle is a Native American shaman who is dedicated to honoring our spiritual heritage. He is a world-renowned spiritual guide who has been particularly cherished by mediums all over the world. He first spoke through a medium called Grace Cook in the early 20th century. He is the guide who helps create clear channels in our bloodline and our spiritual lineage so we can access the heart of the Creator. He also helps us move into sacred ceremony where we can hold sacred space to honor a change, transition, celebration or anything else that deserves time. He is a, wonder, he is a wonderful being for clearing the space and we can call on him for help in forging spiritual connections. There is an extended message. Take some time to honor just how far you have come. Recognizing through ceremony and ritual the shifts in your awareness, healing and journey really allows you to move into a state of grace and of gratitude. You have <clears throat> or have recently had an opportunity to heal an old family wound or pattern. It is important to connect with your family in spirit so that you can set a new energy of love in place. The white eagle is bringing your ancestors through to you and allowing you to know that they are happy and well. He is sounding his sacred drums to clear your spirit. Next card is the Psychic Tarot card and out came heartache and loss. The meaning of this card revolves around disappointment, sorrow and separation which can cause upheaval and distress. It takes all the strength you have at this moment in order to move past the pain and heal your heart. The love that has been given to another should now be focused on you. Although you might look at this card as being a negative card, it can act as a tremendous catalyst encouraging you to move on. The painful experiences of life are just as valuable as the joyous ones. You may not appreciate that sentiment at this challenging time, but life does have a way of pushing you forward, even though you may not always know the final destination. As you endure this period, learn not to dwell on the past, but use your strong mental control to deal with your emotions. Have faith in knowing that you will get through this. The Starseed Oracle card is activate, activated Earth. It is about power places, lee lines, and trust 
were you are led. Lee lines, they are invisible pathways on the land along which energy travels. They can be sensed when we tune into them with our subtle senses. Also known as spirit pathways, they have been compared to the meridian system of the body used in Chinese medicine and they link sacred sites, stone circles, burial mounds and places of worship worldwide. In Australian Aboriginal culture, Song lines were the pathways traveled by the creator beings as they made the land and the sea during the dreaming. These pathways were recorded in the traditional songs and dances of the people, allowing them to access information about the land's history and then to travel safely across great distances. Many believe that as we visit such sacred points on the earth, something is activated within us. Some also believe that by connecting with the land, with devotion at these sacred places, something is activated within the planet as well. Are you being called to travel to a secret place that your soul remembers or to tend the land you live on? To honor and acknowledge the known and unknown keepers or nature spirits of that land? As you connect with the earth and honor its keepers, the land opens up more fully to hold you the fruits provide more nourishment and the guardians, they watch over you. So, say this starseed activation, Gemini. Place the card on the portal of your heart or do that in spirit and say the following. I honor and thank the keepers of the earth beneath me known and unknown. Thank you for your nourishment and tender holding. The sacred destiny card is called Taking Risks and it is about the high plateau. A high plateau is a large flat area of land that is significantly higher than the landscape around it. The sides, at least one or two, are sheer and steep. These formations are typically caused by the upwelling of volcanic magma, tectonic movement or even erosion. Some indigenous groups called these tablelands Tepui, which means house of the gods. When you stand at the edge of one of these sheer walls, you can feel that you are in the place of the gods. The sacred landscape wants you to know when you get this card in your reading, it is time to step beyond your normal and everyday life. Take some risks. Face your fears. Do things in a new and even unorthodox way. Listen more to your inner voice than to the voices and the opinions of others around you. Rather than running from potential failure, embrace it. History has shown that those willing to face failure will often succeed in a massive way later. And the last card is the Spirit Chunky card. And for you came out that message, 
All that I love is more important to me than all that I fear. And I think that fits well with taking risks, right? So that was your reading, Gemini. Thank you for listening. I wish you a beautiful day today. I wish you a joyous week. Take care and goodbye.